everyone, welcome back. So, just a little over a month ago, I went to a local car show over here in Roebling, New Jersey. And I had just recently purchased a used 24 millimeter 2.8 wide angle lens for my K1000. So I figured that would be a really cool place to run this through its paces. So I loaded this camera up with some Ultrafine Extreme 100 speed film. Ultrafine Extreme isn't available anymore. It, it was imported or it was uh, marketed through a uh, photo warehouse, but it's been at least over a year since it's been available, which is kind of a shame because it's a really nice film, but I had bought a bulk load of it just a little over a year ago, and I still have about a half uh, bulk load left. And then along with the camera with the 24 on, I wanted to take another lens, but instead of just taking another lens with me, like a 50 or a 35, I decided to take my Rolly 35 with me, which has a 40 millimeter 2.8 lens on it. And in that camera, I had loaded some Fomapan 200. So I had the both cameras loaded, one with 200 speed film, one with 100 speed film. It was a real bright, sunny day. So I was all set to go. Um, the only thing I did differently this time that I would normally do is when I got to the car show, I decided I wanted to shoot a whole complete roll in each camera first before I would use the second camera. So instead of switching back and forth, if I saw I needed a 50 for this shot, or I'm sorry, a 40 millimeter for this shot, or a 24 for this shot, I wouldn't just switch back and forth with the cameras. And that changes your approach because now you are dealing with one focal length. So the way you pre-visualize each shot, the way you approach each shot is gonna be a lot different than if you had the ability to zoom in and zoom out or take another uh, lens out of your bag and interchange the lens. That's the camera you have for the day. And again, you, this, is, this is the way I'm gonna be shooting. I'm shooting in wide angle today, all right? And that's what I did for the entire first roll. I just wanted to separate the experience. And then I took the Rolly and I did the same thing. I went around the car show and I shot everything just with a normal lens perspective. So again, the approach is a little different because the angle of view is different. It's gonna, it's gonna change the result of each composition because of the focal length. But by shooting the whole roll that way, I got into that mindset of, well, that's the only camera I have for the day and I can't do anything about it other than move closer to the subject, move further back from the subject, I had to compensate my position because of my position to the subject due to the type of focal length I was dealing with with each particular camera. So, and the reason I, I did that is because I find myself more often these days going out with just one camera and one lens. So I wanna keep practicing that. I wanna just keep honing the way I see things, uh, honing that skill of viewing the image just through one focal length. It's just an exercise that I wanted to do to help me pre-visualize my subject better with that specific focal length. So anyway, off to the car show. Uh, oh, and by the way, all the film, the Fomapan and the Ultrafine, I used the same developer. I used Rolly Super Grain and I developed it at a dilution of 1 to 12. And when I show the photos, again, we're going to go through a little video and some photos. When I show you those, I'll also put uh, down in the description at the bottom of the photo what camera I used. So again, onto the, onto the car show. And again, if you enjoy the video, if you enjoy the photos, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and once again, I thank you so much for viewing, and I'll catch you on the next one. I have to at least know where I am. <laughs> I do the same thing when I take pictures. Okay, so I am officially here at the Roebling Museum Car Show in New Jersey. 
And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to start off with shooting a whole roll of 100 speed film in the Pentax K1000 with just the 24 millimeter lens. So I'm going to walk around and see what kind of compositions I can obtain by just using that one lens. So those are some of the photos from the first roll of film that I took using the K1000 and a 24 millimeter lens. Next, I moved on to the Rolly 35S. And as you could tell, it's a bright sunny day. So reflection was gonna be a bit of an issue. So I did my best to try to adjust my angles and my compositions so it wouldn't be too bad. And I also got some interesting uh, star patterns reflecting off the cars due to the small aperture opening that I was using due to the bright sunny conditions. To get my exposure readings, I used the built-in light meter in the K1000, and for the Rolly 35, I used the little tiny shoe mount light meter by Raveni. Mm -hmm. 